Hey guys, this is Casey Ferris. Thanks for checking out another video of mine here on the YouTubes. Today we are talking about advanced color grading techniques inside of Premiere Pro CC using the Lumetri Color Panel. If you don't know what the Lumetri Color Panel is, you should learn that first because this won't make any dang sense if you don't know what you're doing. Here I have a shot of a man sitting looking sad. I always feel like I need to tell you what the shot is even though you can perfectly see it, but it helps with the transition, you know. Let's say I wanna do some grading. I'm gonna go up to my basic correction and start playing around. This already looks pretty nice, but let's say we wanna add some style to it. Okay, all right, okay. Maybe I'm gonna do a little bit of the warm cool thing, which I know that you guys just, just freaking hate, all right, but it's an example. Okay, so you don't have to do this, but you can if you want to. I'm gonna go to my color wheels. This is the three-way color corrector, highlights, midtones, and shadows. I'm gonna move my midtones warmer, move my shadows cooler. This is a very basic version of the warm and cool look. I'm also gonna bring my highlights towards the cool just a little bit. And my kids are screaming in the background. And I'm just gonna keep playing with this until I get a look that I like. More of the subtle warm and cool look. Here's the difference. Here's what we had. Here's what we got now. And I have all these different tabs inside of the Lumetri color panel that I can play with and they all go in order. So if I make an adjustment here in basic correction, it's going to affect how the color wheels adjust things. So that gives you quite a bit of control over your image. But let's say I wanna do some tricky things and kind of stack some more corrections on top of this. I'm pretty much limited to the controls inside of my Lumetri color panel, but what I can do is stack the corrections in my effects panel and actually add another instance of the Lumetri color effect on my footage. I'll show you what I mean. I'm just gonna twirl this back up, select it and hit Control C and deselect and hit Control V. And that's gonna duplicate this look and I can reset it by clicking this little reset effect button. And now I have a whole brand new instance of Lumetri color. Maybe I want to add some kind of contrast curve bring some richness to those shadows. And I can use these adjustments to add additional adjustments on top of my original effect. The other cool thing is I can rename these so that I actually know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna call this contrast curve and this one I'm gonna call primary and maybe I'll make a new one. I'll just hit control V cause I already had that one copied to my clipboard and maybe I'll pull a secondary on his skin. And if you don't know how secondaries work, check out this video right here because that will tell you a little bit more info on that. I can add another effect, reset it, and maybe I'll add my vignette. Just do some kind of subtle vignette there. So there I have four Lumetri color effects stacked. I have my primary, my curve, my skin qualifier, and my vignette. Now you might be asking, what is the point of having these in separate effects when you could do all of this within the Lumetri color panel? You could adjust your color wheels, you could add a curve, you can pull a secondary and you can add a vignette all within one effect. Why would you put them on separate effects? The reason is you can put these in different order this way. I can move my contrast curve to be over everything or I can have it before things. I can move these around and it will adjust the way this image looks. With some looks, the order in which you do things really makes a big difference. So this gives you the ability to adjust the order in which these adjustments are put on. The other cool thing about doing it this way is if I add another Lumetri color effect and reset it, let's say I wanna have some light coming in from this window and kind of enhance that a little bit. I can go to my curves, maybe brighten things up a little bit, and then I can twirl down my effect and add a mask to the effect. And that's gonna limit where this adjustment is made. And now I have my window light and I can turn just the window light on and off. And I can also move it up and down in the stack to see if it looks better or worse at some places. I think it looks nice under that contrast curve. And it's really easy without going in and twirling down and trying to figure out everything inside of Lumetri to turn off specific parts of your grade. And maybe I like parts of this, but I don't really like the warm and cool look. I can just turn off my primary and I can still have the contrast, still have my window light, but I got rid of that warm and cool look. As you can imagine, the possibilities are pretty much endless. You can add just infinite Lumetri color effects and adjust different parts of your image. It's kind of akin to nodes in DaVinci Resolve. 
you can pretty much stack these and do some pretty advanced stuff. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like. If you want more color grading tutorials and post-production tutorials in general, make sure to subscribe to this channel here on the website on the information superhighway called youtube.com. My name is Casey Ferris. Thank you so much for spending however long this tutorial was with me. Goodbye.